Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I wanna highlight three inexpensive sharpening aids that hopefully will give you the confidence to attack any blade to get it razor sharp using about any kind of existing stone you might have. Um, many times sharpeners have built-in angles like the Spyderco Triangle Sharpener, um, and that angle may be optimum for, say, Spyderco knives. Uh, here's a work sharp. I really like work sharps. Um, but as you can see right here, it actually has different positions that you can align this for whatever you're sharpening. And this is a great sharpener, by the way, this, this particular Ken Onion version sharpener. Um, but a lot of times you just have wet stones um, or ceramic stones, diamond stones. Um, if you happen to have something like this work sharp, actually I'll show you the regular one, it has built-in ramps right here to help you align the uh, blade. So as you uh, begin your journey across, you begin it at the appropriate angle. And uh, it also has the, the uh, angles up here. So when you're working across this ceramic stone, you can begin it at particular angles. Well, and here's the bench, bench made version of it, just as good, just more expensive and branded. But anyway, there are a couple of other things you can get, um, and I'm gonna show you three of them. Uh, the simplest is these uh, angle guides. These are made by Wedge K, or Wedge, I don't know how you say it, it's wedgek.com, but I'll put an Amazon link in. And all they are are different sized ramps, and they actually have other uses besides this, and each one is marked, and I've got 10 through 20 degrees here. And why you may want that is because sometimes um, if you're trying to sharpen up, uh, say, razor knives, these might be really shallow versus chopping uh, tools, axes, especially um, splitting axes, splitting malls. Those are really steep. Um, but what you do is you basically grab the one you want, or if you don't know, you can kind of keep lining them up on the blade till you find the right one, um, measuring it on the flats, and then just rubber band it down. And then you can take your, your blade and as you engage the stone, you're already at that proper angle. Generally, people are really good at sharpening, but they're not very good at keeping the angle um, that they're intersecting the blade with the sharpening stone consistent. If it's super consistent, what, even if it's the wrong angle, eventually you'll grind it down into a new angle. That's all fine and dandy. If you keep moving it, what you're doing is dulling it as you go. And I've seen people do that and they're, they're going like this. They're just rounding off the end. Um, so if you can hold it consistent, you eventually will end up with an edge. If you hold it at the edge it already is at, the angle it's already at, then you will uh, sharpen it. So here's one, you know, these little wedge case, uh, and they are great, super simple. You can use them for about any, any different uh, stone, just strap them on um, there. Another one, um, and these are the angle pyramids by a company called Sharpall. Um, or Sharpal, if you, I don't know how they say it, but it, it looks like Sharp AL. Um, and what they are are multiple angled little pieces of plastic. Uh, this one has a magnet on it, so it works well, or better, I guess, not, not a very strong magnet, on this diamond stone. And then this one has got a rubber um, kind of coating on it, so it works better on this, um, say, like an Arkansas stone here. So then what you do is just select the correct angle um, engagement that you want. Say if I wanted uh, 17 degrees for something, grab a knife here. Uh, this is my Olight Freeze 2. Um, and then as I slide it onto the blade, as long as this is flat on here, I will then engage, as long as I'm consistent, holding the blade at the proper angle, whatever that happens to be. So it also shows you, a lot of times people are either way too shallow or way too steep. You know, learning the particular position, once you kind of get a handle for it, you know, you can easily just eyeball it and come close enough. Um, so these are great for that if you're using it on the diamond stone, especially diamonds because they, they can be so abrasive. They'll just take off a ton of metal. You really, you know, might be able to do it in just a couple of passes. Notice I'm moving the stone here and holding the blade constant. Ideally, you'd be keeping it flat. Now, speaking of keeping it flat, there's another one here. 
Uh, this is a pretty cool one. This is called the Hold Bubble Sharpening Angle Guide. And what this little guy is, is a, it's a magnetic plate with a, uh, a level inside here and folds up very small. Uh, I put that up um, and then you align the uh, level with the degree that you want. And you can look, you've got quite a range here. So you can go up to chisels if you need to, you know, really steep stuff. Um, so if I line it at 40 or at 15 degrees here and then put it on a blade on the place where uh, it's flat, now I've got this level. See that? So if I have a stone that's also level and then I tilt this to center the bubble, like right there, I am, let me get that right, I am now holding this at 15 degrees. So it's a pretty sweet little little uh, engagement tool. Once you kind of get it down, and especially if you, you know, were using some of these steeper things. I mean, if you think about this, I'm a bit not sure I can get it quite steep enough there. Look at how steep that is. I mean, you're talking about working with some uh, woodworking tools there, um, or splitting malls or something. But very easy. How accurate is it? Uh, well, it's about that accurate. You know, you're kind of guessing. Those are pretty, pretty big jumps, but it gives you a really good idea as to where you are as far as lining up the angle. And that's, that's the critical part of sharpening. You know, you can sharpen on a piece of cement if you want, if you can get the angle and get everything right. I've sharpened knives on river rocks, um, but it's knowing what, what that angle is and how that reflects in holding the blade. So anyway, there are three. Uh, in case you don't have one that that has these built-in angle ramps, um, like the work sharps often do, so we've got the wedge K's set, um, ten through twenty degrees. We've got the uh, angle pyramids by Sharpall, and then we've got the hold bubble by Sharpall. And I've got links below if you're interested in any of these. Um, I'm going to do more with different kinds of sharpening tools, though, also, um, because I just love these things. It's great to have really sharp tools. And with that, Doc out.